Dear friends and subscribers, welcome back to Cricket Happenings. So today we got into the business end of the tournament in the Asia Cup 2018 where two matches were played and it resulted in victories for India over Bangladesh. It was an easy victory and as far as Afghanistan and Pakistan were concerned, it was a tense battle which went all the way down to the final over where 10 runs were still required and Shoaib Malik keeping his cool, using all his experience uh, and then depositing a four and a, a six and a four to complete the formalities. But with only two balls to spare, Pakistan won the match. But let me tell you, Afghanistan stretched them to the limit today. And Afghanistan definitely have, have uh, definitely made everyone take notice of them in this Asia Cup because they have been doing a wonderful job as we all know. And so I'll be talking about that game and India had an easy victory as I said and then we'll also have a look at the England squad uh, that has been selected uh, for the tour of Sri Lanka, the test uh, test team where Oli Stone, uh, the fastest, in, the fastest pay bowler in England currently I was selected for the ODIs. He has also been selected for the test matches. And Rory Burns, the record breaker, uh, who has been scoring runs at a, a tremendously consistent rate, has also got the nod. And I'm very happy to see that. And Joe Denley also makes the cut. Well, uh, we'll that, uh, as far as the England team for the tour of uh, Sri Lanka uh, test series is concerned, uh, it will be time permitting. Uh, that I will be able to talk about that but other than that I am going to start off with the game between India and Bangladesh which was the first match in the Super 4 of the Asia Cup 2018. India won the toss and decided that Bangladesh would bat first uh, in sweltering heat uh, in, in, in Dubai uh, and uh, Bangladesh well, um, their, their start was not good. They lost both the openers uh, pretty quickly. Uh, Lytton thus was packed up by Kumar for seven. Nasmal Hussain Shanto uh, left for seven. Uh, in fact, first it was uh, <coughs> Lytton Das out for seven of uh, 16 deliveries, one four. And Nasmal Hussain Shanto falling to Jaspreet Bumra for seven. And it was a familiar story as to what. Uh, uh, what they did against uh, Pakistan where um, Kumar and Bumra started bowling in the right areas and forced the ba both the batsmen uh, to actually make mistakes and um, so they were reduced to 16 for 2 and then we had the, the two experienced batsmen in the team uh, Shakibil Hassan uh, and uh, Mushfiqur Rahim uh, at the crease uh, Mushfiqur Rahim uh, at the crease and uh, and after that after once the 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 bowlers the uh, the pace bowlers that is uh, Bumra and Kumar uh, had uh, done their duty uh, of uh, bowling uh, doing the opening burst um, in came uh, the person who was um, who had actually had replaced Hardik Pandya we are talking about Ravindra Jadeja on his comeback and he was the hero today as he started picking wickets very very easily in fact uh, he first picked up the wicket of Shaki Vilasan now this was well done as soon as Ravindra Jadeja came on to bowl psychologically Shaki Hassan started going after him to actually put him off track as uh, Jadeja was just coming to the team it was a nice ploy uh, but one too many and then finally um, uh, you know the brain trust of the team even though Rohit Sharma is leading the team he has one of the most experienced captains with him and there's wicketkeeper Dhoni. Wicketkeeper Dhoni stopped Jadeja on his stride, had a word with Rohit and told Rohit to post Shikhar Dhawan at the, at the square leg region. And what a master stroke it was. They picked up one of the biggest wickets there and Jadeja was overjoyed as he had taken the big fish and he, had, he was just smashed for, uh, hit for two boundaries. Shakib al Hassan, but the third one resulted 
with Shaky Vilasan not really learning and uh, even though Jadeja actually tossed the ball wide outside the off stump, Shaky Vilasan still went for the sweep and this time uh, it was in the air and Dhawan pouched it and as I said it was a tremendous thinking by uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Shaky Vilasan was gone for 17 of 12 balls with 3 fours and that was wicket number 1 for Ravindra Jadeja and Jadeja was the man who was creating problems for Bangladesh and then he picked up Mushfiku Rahim's wicket by forcing him to reverse sweep for delivery uh, which uh, Chahal took the catch and he was walking after making 21 of 45 deliveries with one boundary. Uh, after that Jadeja um, uh, got a ball uh, to Mohamed Mithun which really went in with the arm and Mohamed Mithun was LBW ball Jadeja for 9 and that was wicket number 3 for Jadeja and this Bangladesh team was really really going down uh, with uh, half the half the batsmen into the pavilion at 65 for 4 or 5 in the 18th over. <coughs> After that Mahmudula was there so hope was definitely there for Bangladesh to still get to a decent total but uh, Jadeja also picked up the wicket of Mossadak Hussain by getting him caught behind for 12 of 43 deliveries and then uh, Mahmudula himself was a victim as um, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar came back for his second spell and trapped Mahmudula LBW for 25 or 51 deliveries with three fours and then it was only thanks to Mashrafe Murtaza and especially Mehdi Hassan Miraj uh, who both uh, had to really play in a very cautious manner but they definitely uh, hit a few strokes and finally this partnership they were reduced to 160 uh, for uh, they were reduced to 101 for seven at one stage, and then uh, there was um, it was only uh, uh, the captain Murtaza and Mehdi Hassan Miraz who made sure that uh, they would uh, uh, Bangladesh would play their entire quota. It was quite a different thing that they could not play the entire quota. Uh, they were all out in 49 for one but that was still okay. But at least uh, that partnership between. Murtaza and Miraz, which added 66 uh, runs to the good, uh, which occupied 13 overs, really helped matters as Bangladesh were bowled out for 173. Murtaza 26 of 32, two sixes. Marius and Miraz was a victim of the bowling of Bumrah for 42 of 50 deliveries with two fours and two six. Mustafa Zurahim three, uh, three. Rubel Hussain was not on one. And this Bangladesh uh, batting lineup was bowled out for 173. A good job with Indian bowlers once again. Look at the bowling. Ravindra Jadeja was the one who was the man of the match to wait. 10 overs, no maiden. 29 runs and 4 wickets and it took all the key wickets to fall. Especially Shakib and Mushfikul. Uh, Kumar, 10 overs on maiden, 32 runs and 3 wickets on the money. Bumra as usual, once again on the money. 9.1 overs, 1 maiden, 37 runs and 3 wickets. Yuzendra Chahal, 10 overs for 40 runs. Kuldeep Yadav 10 hours for 34. So Yuzendra Chahal and Kuldeep Yadav uh, bottled up uh, Bangladesh at the other end. Ravindra Jadeja was the beneficiary picking up the wickets uh, with 4 for 29. A very good comeback by uh, Ravindra Jadeja as he did in the test matches against England. He made a comeback into the ODIs and uh, he did a very good turn for himself today. Now, India were chasing a target of uh, 100 and 74 to win the match, so very, very modest score there. And Shikhar Dhawan started off uh, in a real flash as he started uh, uh, creaming boundaries. At the other end, Rohit Sharma uh, was also doing a good job and they had raised the 50 up pretty quickly and they had put 61 runs on the board. Uh, and uh, then Shakib Al Hassan in the 15th over uh, trapped Shikhar Dhawan LBW for 40 of 47 deliveries included four fours and one six uh, and then Raidu came in and then uh, Raidu's wicket was gone as he was out to the uh, he was a victim of the bowling of Rubal Hussain when he was caught behind by Mushfiqur Rahim for 13 of 28 deliveries one four and then the Indian captain Rohit Sharma uh, dropped anchor and started guiding the Indian innings he had the company of his uh, experienced captain Mahindra Singh Dhoni as uh, both uh, took the score from 106 for 2 to 170 uh, with Rohit Sharma uh, definitely showing a lot of restraint uh, and uh, Dhoni also 
uh, just uh, just playing around and they made sure uh, that you know in india would not have any trouble usurping this total as uh, the score reached 170 when dhoni was a victim of the mashraf and mutaza for 33 of 37 and but uh, it was all over rohit sharma uh, was not out on 83 of 104 balls five fours and three sixes Karthik not out one india winning the match in the f first match of the super four by seven wickets and uh, if you look at the balling there mashraf and mutaza five overs one for 30 Mehdi Hassan Miraj did a good job, 10 hours none for 38. Mustafizur Rahman, I have to say that, uh, I have to say that Mustafizur Rahman has not looked the real piece that one has known him to be. Uh, he definitely needs to get his mojo back, according to me. 7 hours none for 40. Shaky Balasan, uh, 9.2 hours, no made in 144. 5 hours one for 21 for Rubel Hussain. And that was the outcome at the Dubai International Cricket Stadium, where India actually won the first match of the Super 4 at the business end of the tournament uh, by 7 wickets with Ravindra Jadeja on his comeback match in his ODIs taking the man of the match for a brilliant bowling performance. Uh, now we, ha we head towards the next match. We are talking about the second match in the Super 4 uh, of the Asia Cup uh, and this match was played between Pakistan versus Afghanistan and one was really waiting to see this match. As you know Afghanistan right now has a lot of value that is because they have three spinners in that match and that really becomes uh, very difficult for the opposition but uh, thankfully Pakistan went on to win by three wickets but let me tell you one thing that Afghanistan stretched Pakistan all the way down to the final over and that in itself was a moral victory for Afghanistan so let's have a look so the toss was actually won by uh, Afghanistan and Afghanistan decided that they will bat first. Asghar Afghan, the part of the Afghanistan uh, captain decided that his wards would bat first. So uh, it all started off uh, with um, with a very cautious approach by Mohammad Shahzad and his Allah. And also let me tell you that Pakistan today dropped Mohammad Amir from the squad. Uh, and they in, in fact they decided to go with Usman Khan uh, Shahid Shah Afridi was given an ODI debut today um, and he was the one who was handling the new ball with Usman Khan. Then they had Mohammad Nawaz who took three wickets, the best bowler today along with Shahid Shah Afridi. Uh, and uh, if you look at the card there, uh, Afghanistan started off with both their openers, Hassan Ullah and Mohammad Shahzad and they had put out 26 runs for the first wicket. Um, uh, in, as I said, they were, it was a very steady start uh, by the Afghanistan standards uh, as uh, both added 26 runs for the first wicket before the first wicket uh, was not taken by the pace bowlers. In fact, uh, I would say that uh, Shine Shah Afridi uh, was pretty unlucky uh, that uh, today uh, he himself dropped two catches but I thought he bowled beautifully but very unlucky that he could not get the support from the Pakistan fielders. The Pakistan fielding today uh, was not really up to the mark. Their bowling also wintered a bit. Uh, and uh, you could see that uh, Shine Shah Afridi, who could have got amongst the wickets, uh, was uh, left with uh, none for 38. In fact, two for 38. So he got his uh, maiden wicket as well. So Mohamed Shahzad and Nisan Ullah started adding 26 runs. And then it required... The, uh, the spinner, Mohamed Nawaz, uh, to come in uh, and uh, break the opening partnership. He did it by picking up Mohamed Shahzad's wicket for 20 of 31 balls with two fours. He added his Anullah by getting him caught and bowled for 10 of 28 balls with one four. And that was the time the score read um, uh, 30 odd runs, 31 for two in the 11th over. And then they had a brief partnership that happened between Rahmat Shah and Hasmatullah Shahidi. So today they decided to send Rahmat Shah one drop uh, instead of sending him as opener. So Rahmat Shah was with Hasmatullah Shahidi today and both started having a brief partnership trying to revive the uh, Afghanistan links but they could only take it down to the halfway stage when Afghanistan had only 94 runs on the board before Mohammad Nawaz once again was um, he was amongst the wicket as he picked up the wicket of Rahmat Shah for 36 of 51 balls with two fours. 
uh, Asghar Afghan, and that was the time, I, as I said, at 94 for three, um, the, the, in the halfway stage, uh, it was not a good start at all for Afghanistan. And now Hasmatullah Shahidi was reining himself in. He was the one uh, who, uh, who was really playing the anchorman role uh, to perfection uh, for Afghanistan as he was joined by the uh, Afghanistan captain Asghar Afghan. Asghar Afghan was so brave that the very first delivery that he received, uh, um, uh, he, he actually smacked it for a six. And then Asghar Afghan was, had decided one thing, that uh, he is the one who is going to give a huge injection of runs to this innings. And he was the one who was really, really swinging his willow uh, in a very wild manner. And uh, this partnership uh, really started uh, uh, helping Afghanistan uh, get a, uh, put a huge injection of runs uh, into that total uh, as the score uh, they put on a, uh, basically a 94 run partnership which was very well done I thought in 16 overs and uh, in that uh, the contribution from Asghar Khan was 67 of 56 deliveries which included 5 sixes and 2 fours. As I said Shine Shah Afridi finally picked up his maiden test wicket when he knocked off the attacking captain Asghar Afghan by clean bowling him for 67 but what a knock from Asghar Afghan a very, very timely knock. Asmuntala Shahidi carried on and then Shahin Shah Afridi also disposed of Mohamed Nabi pretty quickly. And Mohamed Nabi, unfortunately, I have to say uh, that uh, he has not been uh, looking his old self at all in this particular Asia Cup, which is very important for Af Afghanistan to have because I thought he's a very good batsman. And then Najibul Azadran was bowled by Hassan Ali for five um, and uh, it was Asmuntala Shahidi. Unfortunately, he could not get to his century but uh, he, he did well to open up during the death overs and made sure that Afghanistan will have a very good total on the board of 257 for 6. His contribution being an unbeaten 97 of 118 deliveries, which included only 7 fours of wonderful innings from Hasmatullah Shahidi. Gulbuddin Naib was not out on 10 of 7 balls with 1 4. And Afghanistan, I thought, put a decent total of 257. Usman Khan, 10 was one made a none for 58. Shine Shah Afridi on his ODI debut. Uh, very, very effective. But unfortunately, as I said, he was a luckless bowler as he himself dropped two catches and the others dropped three catches. So you can just imagine the Shine Shah Afridi uh, still had a good debut, 2 for 38. Mohamed Nawaz, uh, 10 was one made a 57 runs and three wickets amongst the wickets. 4 was none for 21 for Shoaib Malik Ali Sohil, 6 was for 30. Hassan Ali, 10 was one for 51. Now Pakistan were given a target of 258 runs to win from 50 overs and I can tell you they lost Fakhar Zaman in the very first over when Mujibu Rahman trapped him LBW. But after that they had a wonderful partnership uh, which restored uh, a lot of parity into the Pakistan innings. Uh, it was a partnership which was fold of 154 run partnership with the second wicket which involved Imamul Haq who according to me uh, was the best player against the Afghanistan spinners as uh, Imam ul Haq made 80 of 104 balls with 5 fours and 1 6. Uh, Babar Azam contributing a neat 66 of 94, 4 fours and 1 6. But suddenly uh, they had a bit trouble. So once the once uh, you know the, the stand was broken uh, by Rashid Khan who picked up the wicket of uh, Babar Azam and Imam ul Haq was run out, uh, suddenly there was a bit of panic in the Afghanistan room with only uh, Shoaib Malik um, actually holding strong as uh, they lost a lot of wickets. They were 158 for three when Babar Azam departed and then they lost a few wickets. They lost Harris Sohail to Mujibur Rahman for 13 of 21 balls, 1-4. Uh, and then the spinners, Gulbuddin Naib, clean ball, Safraz Ahmed, uh, that was a shot. Harris Sohail actually played uh, the worst shot, one could say, under the circumstances. Uh, as he tried to move Mujibur Rahman and he was caught by his son Ullah. Uh, Safraz Ahmed uh, got a full toss from Gulbuddin Naib which he tried to cut and it ended up into the stumps. He was gone for 8 of 12 balls. Asif Ali was a victim of the bowling of Rashid Khan for 7 and Mohamed Nawaz was bowled by Rashid Khan for 10 thus leaving Shoaib Malik as I said uh, was the binding force there for Pakistan at the end. He was still there and as I said there were only uh, and then finally the match came down to the wire 
10 runs were required of the final over but Shoaib Malik with all his experience guided Pakistan home uh, the first ball was a dot ball but the second and third uh, he deposited it for four uh, for six and four respectively and uh, finally as I said Afghanistan spinners really giving headaches to the Afghan Pakistan batsmen but um, uh, very uh, very luckily enough Shoaib Malik uh, actually got them to um, got them over the finishing line he was not out on 51 of 43 three fours one six Hassan Ali not out six uh, with a solitary six of three deliveries and Pakistan in the end uh, after a bit of a panic um, uh, actually uh, winning the match by three wickets uh, look at the spinners Th this is the challenge that every opposition in the Asia Cup will face uh, if you look at the bowling Mujibur Rahman was very very um, very economical and uh, very miserly as well uh, 10 overs 2 maidens uh, 2 for 33 Aftab Alam was the one uh, who lead the majority of runs 9.3 overs 1 maiden 1 for 64 Gulbadi Naib 10 overs 1 for 61 Mohamed Nabi uh, Gulbadi Naib was the most costliest um, and also along with Aftab Alam Mohamed Nabi 10 overs 1 for 50 Rashid Khan went for 46 but he picked up he bought he, 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 he was buying the wickets of the Pakistan. 10 was no made in 346. Shoaib Malik uh, definitely uh, getting the man of the match award. And as I said, I can just, I have only one minute right now. I want, just want to share about the uh, England lineup which has been selected uh, for, the, uh, for the test tour of Sri Lanka. And uh, one thing I would like to, Oli Stone, the fastest bowler in England currently, has already got the nod for Rory as he has been included in the test squad um, but I'm very happy for Rory Burns who has been very consistently scoring runs uh, for his county uh, and he has for, for the last five years uh, seasons he has been scoring a thousand runs consistently in a season and finally the nod has come for Rory Burns which I'm very happy about and Joe Denley also made the cut um, so definitely other than that Keaton Jennings has been given one more life after a very very poor series against India uh, Keaton Jennings is holding his place and uh, that is something I think it's a godsend thing for uh, Keaton Jennings uh, and it is as I said for me uh, it looks like Keaton Jennings is very very lucky uh, that he has been given uh, an opportunity here once more uh, by England and uh, really I think he should be thanking his stars uh, that uh, he has been kept in the team because one was really thinking uh, that after showing against India uh, whether he would be in a position uh, to get a place Keaton Jennings gets his place back so Keaton Jennings uh, would like to make it count for sure uh, and then other than that Sam Curran is there in the team uh, they also have James Anderson Stewart Broad there were news of them being rested but they have decided to go with James Anderson Stewart Broad Chris Woke, Sam Curran uh, and Jack Leach is also back. Well, dear fans, subscribers, uh, that really, really uh, sums up this uh, daily cricket show of mine today. Hope you all uh, enjoyed it. And with my next cricket broadcast slated uh, on Saturday, it's time to say good night. <laughs>